I showed you the Find Change feature back in an earlier chapter, but then I focused just on finding and changing text throughout your document, or even across multiple documents. But now I want to take it farther. I want to talk about adding text formatting to the mix. For example, I have my catalog document open here, and I'm going to zoom in on the lower left corner here. I can see that in my catalog, I have various prerequisites and technical requirements. I'd like to format these with some special formatting. But it would be really tiresome to have to go in there and select each one of these lines in every course in the catalog. No, there's got to be a better way. And of course, there is. I'm going to double click on this to switch to the type tool, and I'm going to select that word, prerequisites, and the colon after it. I'll copy it to the clipboard with a Command-C or Control-C on Windows, and I'm going to bring up my Find Change dialog box by going to the Edit menu and choosing Find Change. Or, of course, you could press Command-F or Control-F. Now, here in the Text tab of the Find Change dialog box, I'm going to paste the word that I just copied into the Find What field. Command-V or Control-V. I could have just typed it myself, but this was faster. So I want to find everywhere that that word shows up with a colon, and I want to apply formatting to that word. How do I do that? Well, I can do that by changing the Find Format and Change Format fields at the bottom of the dialog box. If you don't see those fields, then you need to click the More Options button. For example, I'll click Fewer Options here, and you'll see they disappear. Click again, and they show up. You really want to have those visible. Those are powerful fields that we're going to be talking about here. I'm going to click inside the Change Format field, just anywhere in that blank space, and up comes the Change Format Settings dialog box. And this lets me specify exactly what I want this text to look like. I'll click on the Basic Character Formats pane here, and I'm going to type a font in here. Let's try MY. That's all I need to type, and it guesses that I want Myriad Pro. Then I'll hit Tab to jump to the next field, and this one I'm going to type BO, and it guesses Bold Condensed. But that's not what I wanted, so I'm going to use the pop-up menu here to choose Bold. And finally, I'm going to tab over to the Size field, and I'll make this a little bit bigger than the current text, maybe 10.5 points instead. I think I'll change the color too. I'll click on the Character Color pane here, and then I'll scroll down here until I find a color I like, maybe this blue color. Then I'll click OK, and you can see that all that formatting has shown up here in a list. It's tempting to go right for that Change All button, but before I do that, I have to remember that I had made a selection on my page. And because I made that selection, the Search pop-up menu here got changed to Selection. So I need to change the scope of this from Selection to, say, Story, the whole story. I could choose Documents, I suppose, but I'm just going to say, do it in this story. Now I'm ready to go. I'll click Change All, and InDesign tells me that it made 14 replacements. OK. You can actually see one of them out here on the page. Now let's go do the same thing to the Technical Requirements text as well. I'll click Done to close that, grab this text, copy it to the clipboard with a Command-C or Control-C, then open the dialog box again and paste Command-V or Control-V. Once again, I'll change my scope to Story, and then click Change All. And it made another 14. So you can see, this is a very quick way to change all that formatting. Let's do a couple more of these while we're at it. What if my art director told me that I want all of these to be a different color instead? Well, in that case, I want to delete the text out of the Find What field. I'm just going to press Delete to delete it there. When the Find What and the Change To fields are blank, then InDesign is only going to find and change the formatting. It'll completely ignore the text itself. So in this case, I'm going to click in this blank area in Find Format, and then I'll go to the Character Color pane and pick that blue color. Then I'll click OK, and you can see that blue color is listed here. Now I'll click down in the Change Format area, and I'm going to choose the Basic Character Formats, and I'll select this text in here and just press Delete. I can actually delete this right out of that field. Whenever I have an empty field, it means don't pay attention to those at all. Don't apply formatting to those things. Finally, I'll go back to the Color pane here and change the color. Maybe I'll pick this orange color and click OK. So once again, the Find Format and the Change Format fields show me exactly what's going to be found and how it's going to be changed. I'll go ahead and click Change All, and InDesign tells me that 28 replacements were made. Click OK, and we can actually see back here that all of those colors got changed to orange. There's two more things to look out for inside the Find Change dialog box. First, whenever you apply some formatting in Find or Change, you're going to get this little eye icon over here looks almost like an information sign, but that eye icon means that some formatting has been applied to either find what or change to. 
Now, if you want to clear out all that formatting, all you have to do is click on this little trash can icon in the lower right corner. When you click on that, it simply strips away all the formatting and leaves it blank. Using Find Change is one way to apply this kind of formatting, but I should point out that InDesign has a more advanced feature. It does something similar called nested styles. That's a more automated method, and I cover it in my InDesign Insider Training Beyond the Essentials title here at the online training library.